to Harry, or no, 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 Will, Will, to Will's house, not Harriet's. I don't know where I'm going, apparently. So that's, you know, just joyous, I must tell you. Oh, something's happening. Oh, hey, look, they got back just fine. Well, Norma's not there, but whatever. Yes, clearly. Somehow I doubt that. You never know. My mom always used to say, a man and a woman don't need a reason. Hmm. Well, those are words to live by, huh? I just remembered. I have something to do. Bye-bye! What could you have to do here? In town, a town you've never been to before. Yes, just blurt that out loud, dumbass. And then Sinhal died. The end. You didn't have to hit me that hard. Shut up. You're certain you encountered Vaklov? Absolutely. His soldiers called him by name. So Vaklov was behind the attack on the bandit's lair. I should have realized it when I saw all those red soldiers. Many of those soldiers are part of a special force that carries out secret operations. I'm not surprised you didn't recognize them. Well, I'm surprised you did. Vaklov Bolod, third prince of the Kruzand Empire, a militaristic country in the southern part of the mainland. Over the past few years, Kruzan has been steadily increasing its power by going to war with other nations. It seems Vaklov has been leading an independent division of troops from battlefield to battlefield across the land. Vaklov's confidants are his three executive officers, otherwise known as the Terrors. Right. Melanie the Crimson specializes in fire errors, just as her name implies. Cashel the Phantom is famous for his deceptive illusions in battle. And Stingle the Vicious is a master of the sword. People say that he wears a mask at all times. While Melanie and Cashel are veterans, I've heard that Stingle is a relative newcomer. Perhaps he has some reason for choosing to hide his identity. Damn you, Vaklov! What are you scheming? Why did you abandon the front line and come to the legacy? What's the matter, Chloe? You can hardly blame her. The Holy Kingdom of Ghidoria, her home country, is at war with Kruzand at this very moment. How did you know I'm from Ghidoria? I never told you that. The Valens are a famous family of knights in Ghidoria. I've at least heard of them. So the Valen's name is known far and wide. Renard, we can't just sit here while Vaklov runs free on the legacy. Yes, we cannot let this go, even if it means taking on an entire country's army. First, we need information. We have to discover Vaklov's whereabouts and motives. Precisely. That's why I've contacted Jay the Unseen. Jay? The Jay? He's famous for having more information than anyone on the legacy. We should be receiving an answer soon. I'm going to check into it now. Would you accompany me? Of course. I'll go too. No, you won't. Why not? You even have to ask? How should I know? <laughs> 
Oh, well, Sentinel, you idiot. Do you think we can trust you to travel with us after you just ran off on your own like that? I had my reasons. And besides, I told you, we were only going to be together until we got Shirley back. Yeah, and then after charging off alone, you wound up losing her. Now, after all that, you come crying back for our help. You expect us to just say okay? I didn't come crying back for help. Then good luck working alone. Chloe and I will continue by ourselves. Don't worry. If we rescue Shirley first, we'll be sure to contact you. Let's go, Chloe. I appreciate your help. Wait! Despicable. Well, good job, Sinnel. You must be so proud of yourself. Oh, the irony. He wanted to get away from them, but now he wants to join them, and now they don't want him. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Norma. Yo, Sunny. Norma. Looks like you made it back in one piece. I was really worried about you. Oh, you were, were you? Oh great, I'm so excited. You're going to rescue Cheryl, right? I'll be right there along with you. You're not going to criticize me like the others did? Of course not. I trust you. You're a terrible liar. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in keeping that up. I don't necessarily agree with what you did, but I've got my own priorities. What do you want? Cheryl's brooch. Uh-huh. It's not a jewel, you know. You wouldn't be able to get any money for it. No, dummy, it's not about the money. I want the stone in the brooch. That stone looks like something I've been searching for forever. The Everlight. That's not what it was called, though. It was the something tear. <laughs> I'll tell you what. How about you get me that stone in exchange for me helping you rescue Shirley? That's a tough choice. Oh, come on now. Don't you think her life is a lot, lot, lot more important? Well, I can't guarantee anything, but I can at least talk to her. All right, fair enough. That'll work for now. All right. <laughs> okay, high five. So what do we do now? Did you hear anything from Teach and See? He said something about having contacted... Jay the Unseen. Seriously? Wow! Is this Jay guy really that special? Special isn't the word. They say he knows more than anyone about what's going on around the legacy. But he's really cautious. Apparently like nobody's ever met him in person. Well, guess what? We have. We just ha don't know that we have yet. <laughs> how do you get information from him? You send him a letter in a certain way, and an answer comes back with the information you requested. What a pain. All right, let's go follow Teach. Then we can find out what those guys know. That's your plan? <laughs> hey, no complaining. Now let's head for the Fountain Plaza. Why the plaza? The rumors say that's the place where Jay's answers come. Okay, well, fine. Well, at least we got Norma, so we're not completely alone. <laughs> and remember when I mentioned earlier that at the beginning of Chapter 2, we just had two people and we were going to a place with poison and shit? Here's our two people. <laughs> it's going to be absolute hell. It, it really is. I guess I'll be Norma just until... I don't know. Whatever. Oh, and I got stuff for you. I nearly forgot. Love straw. I guess I really didn't even need it, because weapons useless and stuff. But whatever. Oh yeah, combo expert. Extra TP or extra HP? TP. I want TP, damn it. 
I should probably go, like, take a nap real quick. Should I go talk to people since we're in town for once? Regularly scheduled ship just arrived. There is a side quest that starts during one of these early game chapters. And if you don't start it now, you miss it forever. And I don't know when it is you start or how you do it or anything. I just, I always, always miss it. Because I just, ugh. Legacy is in our hands. That's great. Except it's not. Because, you know, Shirley would be angry. Well, she wouldn't be angry. She'd just be very, very sad. So, hi. Hey there, Norma, was it? Check out these ones I just drew. Wait, what? You drew Norma? Oh, no, you drew Curtis. And Isabella. Uh-huh. Well, we know your taste, sir. And I didn't really want to know them, but now I do. And the world is a sadder place for it. Which way is the Fountain Plaza? Oh, shit. It's been, like, so long since we've been here, I've forgotten the layout slightly. <laughs> Do you know about Jay the Unseen? He's a top informant on the Legacy, but no one's ever seen him. Oh, dear. Going around, wandering, talking to people is probably not what I need to be doing right now. But it's what I'm doing. I guess the regularly scheduled ship arrived at Port on Rage. I wonder if any of the stores got new items. Yes, they did. Is this a map? Okay, good. Uh, oh, I'm like far, far away from the plaza. Can we actually explore more of the town than we could before? Maybe. There's a regularly scheduled ship that goes to the mainland, but it's not in operation when the legacy is motion. Well, no shit, how would you catch a moving ship? I mean, seriously. Although, how do you even catch it when it's not moving? Because how, how would you find it? The ocean's huge. <laughs> How do people even get here? It, you, you still say the same thing you were saying an entire chapter ago? Goody. So that was a complete waste of my time, I'm so leaving. Aw, oh, darn. Yes, Sinnel, yes, I know. So I guess we still can't go anywhere new? Well, at least not that way. You know, I have a feeling that it's going to be either Chapter 5 or 6 before we can really fully explore this place. And that's a long way from now. Map of the city... I'm at the hospital, aren't I? I th yeah, I think this is the hospital over here. For some reason, my stomach really hurts today. <laughs> well, that was valuable information. That will help me so much. Anything in here? The colored light that I still haven't figured out where it's coming from. Hmm. There's probably not really anybody in here, so I should, like, totally leave and shit. So. Yeah. Is this gonna be another one of those episodes where I just waste time doing nothing? It might be. <laughs> I used to see a beautiful youth with a turban in a city, but he isn't around these days. I don't know, cause he's kidnapping Shirley and flying with his black wings and shit. So yeah. We couldn't come over here before, could we? No, no, we're just down below the thing. The plaza. And we still can't go this way, ah! Why? We can't go anywhere. It's terrible. This is not the... The thing. The thing. The inn. The inn, that's what I was trying to think of. How do you forget the word in? It's like three fucking letters long. How do you do that? Really? I am just so stupid sometimes, I like amaze myself. You don't understand? Uh. Save over this one? I guess? I can't remember which ones I'm supposed to be saving over and shit. I'm just, like, getting so absent-minded. Well, I've always been absent-minded. I'm just getting worse. Worse with the absent-mindedness. It's very sad. I'm slightly depressing. Let's just move on. Head up to the place up here and stuff. And talk to you, because you're here. Daddy said that where it just comes from, well, test. The word for a natural spring in some ancient language. Oh. 
Okay. So this is like Natural Spring Beacon. That sounds kind of stupid. Oh good, they're here. And they just come out of nowhere. Are you gonna sing again? Oh shit. He, like, punched you in the abs. Is that that much of an offense? Isn't that, like, something you just kind of shake off? <laughs> yes, Curtis. I mean, you have abs of steel, sir. Come on, have a heart. Think about Sunny's situation. He needs to go and save his beloved sister. They don't care about something like that. What? You're doing this for love? Oh, I guess they care. <laughs> they just kind of disappear. Story, Well, thanks, Norma. You fixed this problem, at least. I see. We understand completely. We'll do whatever we can to help. Won't we, Isabella? Yes, Curtis. Do you ever say anything besides yes, Curtis? Seriously. You just say the word, brother. Why is he calling me brother? If you say sing, we shall sing as we have never sung before. You do that. That will be so helpful. So now we're looking for Teach. You know, Will. Did he come this way? Did he come this way, Isabella? I saw him with Miss Bollins. They were headed for Port on Rage. Port on Rage? Huh? All right, Sammy, we've got our next destination. Hooray! Today, head toward four o'clock once you exit the city. Brother, when you bring back your sister? I will grant you a special present. If it's a song, I really don't give a shit. Let that rouse you to success. Like, what kind of present? A place as an official member of the Phantom Bouncers! Oh, good. Something I care even less about. Who the hell would want that? Exactly! Because, like, all you do is just run around and sing at people.